Hey guys, it's Elaine and this is Julie, my roommate. Hey. And we are on our way to Barnes and Noble and we're gonna take you along with us because we are going to buy each other a book <laughs> But we don't know what the book is, so it's going to be like a little game thing, okay? So Julie's going to buy a book for me, and I'm going to buy a book for her. And then afterwards, we're going to see if we bought each other a good book, or if maybe we don't really know each other that well. So we're going to take you along with us, and it's going to be super fun. So we'll see you at the bookstore. Okay, we made it to the parking lot. We're about to go in. We got our masks on. Barnes and Noble. Hotel? shopping and we got holiday Starbucks cups mm -hmm. um, I got a um, oh my god toasted white chocolates mocha something and I got a peppermint hot chocolate I love Starbucks the holiday cups sure. and they even spelled my name right that's because they asked me how to spell it oh well <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna show each other the books that we picked out I'll go first okay this is so awkward what if you hate it I'm so excited though okay, I'll explain like why I picked it out okay <laughs> trying to think how to say there was an apocalypse like a Ooh. climate apocalypse okay, oh, okay. Mm -hmm. and now like monsters walk among earth okay okay and it takes place on like a navajo reservation mm -hmm. and the reason that i think you will like it is because it plays into like a lot of native american and like indigenous mm. folklore mm -hmm. and it kind of has like percy jackson folklore <laughs> I love Percy and Jackson. Obsessed with Percy I love Jackson. Percy Jackson a lot. So it's like new adult, mm -hmm. so it's like grown up, and there's also like, I don't think it's romance, but there's like, she has to work with someone that, oh. 
that they're not like the best of friends or they don't yeah. really get along or they don't really know each mm -hmm. other so they have to like become partners yeah because she is a monster killer so everyone mm. in this world has like a heightened gift mm -hmm. and she's like isolated from her community because her gift happens to be that she's really freaking good at killing people and they're like <laughs> oh i don't I, no thank you we don't like you yeah. but she's really good at it so it has a lot of like very well written battle and fighting scenes which yeah. i also thought you would like because I, I you like like naruto <laughs> <laughs> it's called Trail of Lightning. Ooh. Isn't it so pretty? She looks awesome. Yeah. She looks like she looks like a baddie. Look at yeah. her. And it, it didn't come out too long ago, so it's pretty recent. And yeah. Rebecca Roanhorse is like like an amazing author. Like yeah. won multiple accolades. Wow. Yeah, I'm excited. This looks awesome. Yeah. So it's got like little romance, friendship. They're fighting real monsters, but they're also fighting psychological mm. monsters. And it and is there gonna be like enemies to lovers? You think? I don't know. I don't know. I don't. <laughs> maybe. I hope maybe so. they're just. Maybe they just become besties. Yeah. Maybe that'd be they. Good too. But I think he's like a doctor or something. Like he Ooh. has like. Hold on. I think it says on the back, Kai, a medicine Ooh. man. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. He's a medicine man. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm gonna really like it. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's more too. Like it's gonna be more books. Yeah, it's it's gonna not be too long. So I think no, it's yeah. like really fun and. And. Yeah, it says book one. So. Yeah. Do you want to know the one I got for you? Sure. <laughs> I hate when people give me stuff. It's such awkward. I never like opening gifts in front of Like at birthday parties, when you have to open your gifts in front of everyone, that is the worst. <laughs> okay, it's gonna be good. It's gonna okay. be good. So, I got you this book. I wanted to get you... I had a book planned out, but okay. I couldn't find it. I don't know if they didn't have it. I looked in every section I thought it could possibly be in, but they didn't have it. This book is not really like that book at all. Okay. But I think you're you going to like it. I did a 180. I did a full 180. <laughs> so this book is about this girl, and she has... <laughs> I love girls. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about a girl, and she has a mark on her arm, and so she's, like, hunted for it because there's a prophecy that whoever has this mark on their arm is going to, like, kill the king. Whoa, and the king is like, cool. I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> There's been like a couple other girls that have this mark and they've all been killed. And so she like runs away and she gets found by this like rebel group basically. And they're like just a bunch of badass women wow. who just like, who are, you know, rebels. And then she also meets a man who is like in a really bad spot and he's going <laughs> to sign up for the army. Okay. But then he meets her, and he starts to reconsider. Wow. And so... Intrigue. Yes. This is the book. Whoa, it's so beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's Look really how pretty. pretty this is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Did you just find this in the bookstore? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. And it just I'm came out too. Sky. Wow, it looks so beautiful. I'm impressed with how beautiful oh, this is. And look okay. at this. Look at the... Yeah, that's what I thought, yeah. Wow. You did a good job. I think Thanks. I'll like this. Okay, good. Yes. <laughs> I was really worried. The sky will fall. A star will rise. <gasps> wow. <laughs> I also got another book for myself and an, a record. So the book that I got for myself is Assassin's Apprentice. It's the first book in the Farseer trilogy by Robin Hobb. I've really wanted to read Robin Hobb for a long time now. And she's like really popular in the fantasy book world. Like even George R.R. R. Martin like blurbed this. But I didn't really know where to start because she literally has like a million, like if you look at this, these are like all the books that she's written. So I had to like Google where to start. And everyone says to start with this one, so I hope that that's correct information because if not, that really sucks. But it was only $8. I usually hate mass paperback books because they're like not the most fun to hold. Yeah. But they're cheap. So that's nice. <laughs> and they fit in purses good. And this guy is a really cutie. Look at him. Yeah, he is. Wow. Looks a like the Hobbit but hot. And a guy. <laughs> the Hobbit but hot. That's funny. So those are the two books. I got a Holly Dolly Christmas on vinyl. So we're going to put this in our apartment on my record player and play it all the time. It has so many cool people. Miley Cyrus is in the song. Michael Buble. Jimmy Fallon. Billy Ray Cyrus is in one. Yes. Willie Nelson. 
Randy Willie Willie Nelson. Nelson. <laughs> Dang. I know this is so iconic. I'm so excited. Look at her. She's such a little cutie. She is. Have a holly dolly Christmas. This is our book haul. That's our haul. And I think we had a good time. Yeah, I yeah. had a good time. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty fun. Thanks for coming with us to the bookstore. <laughs> now we're going to go home. So mm -hmm. uh, wherever you are, I hope that you are doing oh so well and have a wonderful day.